welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and this is The Groom. And this is a very special midweek movie review with The Groom. As it is Valentine's Day, we decided to be festive. And what did we watch? My Bloody Valentine, the remake. The one with Jensen Ackles. Yes. Because we love him. The better one. <laughs> no, oh, well, it's different. We'll, we'll dive into this. So essentially... The way the movie starts out is very similar to the OG My Bloody Valentine. 1981. 1981, in which a bunch of teenagers are having a party in an abandoned mine shaft. shaft. Tunnel 5. <laughs> Tunnel 5. And uh, there had been a kind of fuck up on um, Tom, Hanniger. Tom Hanniger's part. And there were a bunch of miners that were trapped down with Harry Warden, who then proceeded to pickaxe them all in the head to conserve all the oxygen for himself. Smart survival. Terrible. So uh, Harry ends up in a coma and then wakes up and, of course, brutally massacres everyone in the hospital. On Valentine's Day. Of course. And ends up going to Tunnel 5 to wreak his havoc there as well. Where, um, unfortunately, everyone is killed except for a handful of teenagers. Tom being one of them. Axel. And then the, the girlfriends that I can't remember their names. Irene. And, and Sarah. Sarah. So, Harry comes back and they kind of just leap tom there to die oh yeah they do which axel looks at him as he's pulling yeah. out like fuck you buddy which is like actually horrible and i feel like they're really hard on tom the entire movie not really ever bringing up the hey you guys fucking left me to die yeah with this psycho so the sheriff and his deputy come and shoot harry and you kind of see a cave-in happen, and then it flashes to ten years later. He's, like, stumbling away, dragging yeah. the pickaxe. All bloodied up. And uh, Tom witnesses all of it. He witnesses Harry pretty much being shot on top of him, gets sprayed with his blood, watches him drag himself out of the mine. Ten years later, Tom comes back in town as his father recently passed away, and now the mine is his, and he plans to sell it. And he it seems like he's really the only one that got out of the town, and they all kind of hate him. Because the, the mine is like the town's life yeah. source. It's one of those towns that everything was built around the miners. And if the mine shuts down, pretty much every, anything, anything that makes money is going to dry up and die because the mine's not there. So they're, they're pretty pissed at him. And Sarah married Axel. And Axel is a terrible person and also the sheriff. And he is cheating on her. With the girl that works for her. At the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So she works with the chick who's banging her husband every day. Fucked up. She's also pregnant. <laughs> the look on his face when she tells him yeah. is amazing. So Tom comes back. And then suddenly the horrible things from 10 years previous start happening again. So maybe Harry's back. Maybe it's an imposter. Maybe it's a ghost. We're going to leave it off there as this is spoiler free. Even if you've seen... The original. It's a bit different. It's a little different, and that's what that's one of the things I, I like most about it. There's that. a lot more nudity in this one. <laughs> the opening <laughs> scene. There's like the part of the opening se sequence is hilarious, hilarious nudity. Yeah. Which the which he even is like, some damn kid's gonna cheat. It's just like, I don't care. Yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll leave it off there as this is spoiler free. What did you like about the movie? Oh. I mean, the 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 acting was great. Jen, Jensen Ackles is an amazing actor. His acting was great. His acting was Tom phenomenal. Tom Atkins' acting was great. Yeah, <laughs> I'm retired. I'm okay. <laughs> um, I I love Jensen Ackles. I think he's a pheno phenomenal actor, and you can tell how great of an actor he is in this because this is more of a serious role than uh, Supernatural, which is, you know, a goofy kind of drama kind of uh kind of movie but he was really good in this. i haven't seen him you know act this good since devour which was also a great chance i this movie. can never remember that movie oh, it's such a great movie um maybe we'll review that next mm. but um 
if you watch this in the, in theaters, this was a 3D movie. This was actually the first 3D movie I ever saw. And it was the effects they used for 3D, the scenes they picked to be 3, 3D were perfect. Because it was all up close. It made just, it startled you. You know, it was, you know, it was really, it was really good. It was really good. So I really think they did a great job on the 3D parts that, uh, that they uh, picked and, you know, Jensen Ackles, that's always going to be alike in any movie that he's in. So I went to see this in theaters when it came out, knowing that it's 3D, not considering that, um, at the time, I think I already had my first eye surgery on my left eye. So one eye was farsighted, one eye was nearsighted. And I remember sitting in the theater with Amber and her sister. <laughs> and the previews were happening, and there was a preview for Coraline. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. When does it start being 3D? And she's like, it's been 3D. Yeah, all the previews were in 3D, yeah. too. So I pretty cool. couldn't see 3D at the time. And aside from being really pissed that all the really obvious 3D parts looked really cool and I couldn't enjoy them to the fullest. I still really enjoyed this movie and I love like my my like has got to be the gore. Oh. Cuz it's so beautiful. disgusting. It's beautiful. And it's it the is The effects are good too. You can tell that's not Well, no. You can tell that's not, not all, all them, CGI. Not all of them are good. A lot of them are CG, but I feel like they kind of meshed them together to where I was satisfied and like it was 2009 and a lot of people were making bad decisions so like some <laughs> of the CGI wasn't great because they were like oh we need all the blood spray that we can possibly do but I can look past that because Jensen Eccles is so cool what did you dislike about the movie mm. um I think I kind of get to the obvious collusion a little fast. I would have liked a little more the scene in the mine with the three of them. You know, it kind of rushes right to the, oh, you must be the killer, type type thing. I didn't I didn't like that. I I really felt like you could have, you they made it too obvious too early, who the killer was. Where in the original. It took to like the very end of the movie for you to be like, oh my god, he's the killer or she's the killer. Like, that's what the original did. That's the only thing I like better about the original than I like about the remake. Um, so I think I think they, they could have slow, paid, slow, slow played revealing who the killer was a little better. But that's pretty much the only thing I don't. And the obvious, there's obvious flaws in the effects. It was 2009. We were all making bad decisions in 2009. <laughs> you, me, everybody. Um, Get off their back. Uh, Ugh. The guy that played Axel, uh -huh. just like I understand that it's the same actors, and then they're jumping ten years later. But this guy looks like a baby with a beard mustache slapped on him. And I can't take him seriously as a sheriff. Like, that guy is just a walking vagina. It looked like they made the town drunk, the, sh the sheriff. Not even. He's not even old enough to drink. He's just, I have like, a good analogy. 10 years old. I have a good description for his his constant face is it, he either looks like he's farting or trying to figure out who farted. No, he farted. That's constantly what his face is. He's like... It's a real hot fart face. This He's like, this is my deep in thought face. And like, also, he was cheating on his wife. And I feel like they glazed over that because like anyone that's been cheated on and like especially gotten someone like, else pregnant is not going to let things go that easily even if you were just like <laughs> she, up against a serial killer she kind of let go of that way yeah. too easy no and he tried to make her seem like the bad guy because she still had a picture yeah of him well of no that's her, deflection of her <laughs> like i was like i know like that's pretty good it took what a classic cheater will do. They'll try to deflect on the other person. He's actual hot garbage. I don't know. Maybe Actually, I hated him so much because he played like a cheating husband. He does have one of the best lines in the movie though. 
Just shoot both of us. That's I, such an obvious I line, called, though. No, I said I called that. I literally was like, "Yeah, one, just, just shoot both, just shoot both of them." Just kneecap them it. and then talk about it <laughs> while everyone's in shock. Um, my quick, my one quick, quick dis dislike was the opening scene where they shoot Harry w- Warden, Walton, Warden, Warden, Warden. Okay, they shoot Harry Warden, and he's like Michael Myers. That man took, like, eight bullets and just kept walking away. See, my thought is... I immediately thought of Michael. Well, he was in a coma, and he was probably on some really good drugs. So that but just, it was like... The next, <laughs> it was the next day, though. Yeah, but, like, coma coma drugs have got to be pretty good. Coma, coma, like... <laughs> coma, 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 chameleon. <laughs> like, the... I, I, now I'm comparing everything to Twilight Anesthesia. To where, like, you just don't care. Like, they were shooting a laser in my eye, and I was like, this is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it hurts, but I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> it's fine. Like, an actual laser. Like, coma drugs. That's oh my how. God. It's, it's gotta be coma drugs, because I'm figuring, like, they have to give you way better shit if you're in a coma. You know? Just an assumption, because I'm not an anesthesiologist. <sighs> or a doctor. I just watch a lot of movies and I'm just thinking, it's got to be the coma drugs. They probably induced his coma. Moving on. Moving and he's on. just all fucked up. Moving on. But anyways. <sighs> so what do you rate the movie? I'll give this like a three out of five. I really like this movie. I will literally watch this movie every year. It's kind of our tradition now. Yeah. I love the original. I love this one. It's just... It's... The premise is great. I really have a good time every time I watch it, even though I know it's going to happen. Jensen Ackles. Bonus rating. What do you rate the original? Oh, God. The original probably, like... 3.5 out of 5, just because it's... You know, there's not a lot of movies about killer coal miners. I was born a killer coal miner's daughter. I feel like the original is just... There's something really creepy about it. It's and I, Canadian. It's not because it's Canadian. I love Canadians. It's just, like, how actually insane Harry Warden is. Like, the laugh at the end, oh. like, gets under my skin. For me, I would rate the remake about a 3.5. Okay. I think it's a solid movie. I would rate this... Or, I'm sorry, I would rate the original 3.5. I would rate the remake four. Okay. And the thing that does it for me is Jensen Ackles acting is what puts the remake over the original. That's the difference for me. I think the acting in the original is horrible. It's 80s acting. It's terrible. You need to understand. I'm not going to dilute my rating based on the fact that it's the 80s. I am because I love the 80s. And apparently we both have Jensen Ackles boners. Um, no, and it's just, you know, I... The original, I just, eh, I really couldn't get, I, it took me a while to get into that movie, because I, I, like, the re, the beginning was good, and the end was good, but the middle part of it, I just, eh. Bonus, like, I enjoyed that the remake is not, like, a word-for-word, scene-by-scene remake that, like, spoon-feeds you the plot that you've already seen, but had specific things, like the body in the dryer yes i really enjoyed that in the original so obviously i'm gonna enjoy the nod to it in the remake i i think i think that's another reason why i think this movie is so solid is because it's not it's not completely the same but there's little if you watch the original you can pick out little things they're both tunnel number five uh he throws the pickaxe well i mean you kind of have to do that well no no i'm saying like like he throws the pickaxe one thing i noticed they're both right-handed I don't know that that was on purpose. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. The one actor is left-handed, but he still threw the pickaxe with his right hand. I don't think that was that was not on pur- on purpose. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's kind of like you know, for remakes, I think this is one of the be- better remakes I've ever watched mm-hmm. because it did everything. It changed the story enough. And it did all the homages to the original one. Didn't change any character names. 
They didn't change any, like, you know, they didn't change the town's name. They didn't change the setting. It was really good. They changed enough to not make it exactly the same, but kept enough to make it, like, yeah, this is a remake. And I like how they made it three 3D, which brought an extra layer to the remake, even if you couldn't see it. So... I mean, we watched it on Netflix, which was not in 3D. Yeah, it's still a good movie, not in 3D. I feel like some of the shots are kind of hokey. Yeah, but they're hokey because they, they were yeah. three, 3D. I always the wonder if maybe they that. should have like a non-3D version as well, just so people aren't like... Where they cut out the hokiness and make yeah. it a regular thing. I mean, that could be something, but this is one of like the first, like, this is one of the first 3D horror movies, right? No. What was before this? There's a Nightmare on Elm Street that's 3D. I know that for oh, sure. Oh, I forgot but about like, that. But, like, again, I'm not the aficionado of 3D movies. I know who is, and they're probably watching. That's it, me. <clears throat> but, anyway. We watched this on Netflix. Yeah, you can find it. It's still out on physical copy. We, wa- we watched it on Netflix. You can rent it on other streaming applications. You know? As it is Valentine's Day, and I love you very much. I love that this is our new tradition. I will watch this movie every year with you until I grow old and senile. And then it'll be all new again. I know. And I'll be like, I like that Jensen Ackles always have. He's a good kid. (laughs) (laughs) He's going places. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, so thank you all for watching. If you want to follow us on social media, you can follow me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator and on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. Where can and we find you? You can find me on Facebook at Ray Animator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Ray Animator. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. <laughs> please leave a comment. Do you prefer the original... Or do you like the remake better? Oh, do you have a preference? I want to see a fight in the comments about no. that. No. What are your thoughts on Jensen Ackles? Have you seen Devour? Like, I think we have it on VHS. It's so good. If you haven't seen Devour, do yourself a favor and watch it. The premise of it isn't 100% new, but it has a really good twist on it. Leave us a like if you did enjoy the video and hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. And I guess that's about wraps it up time to do the obligatory cover the camera with the hand i suppose all right see y'all later happy valentine's day